What's going on everybody? My name is Aryan and as 2021 is coming to an end, I was thinking about some of the gadgets and some of the tech that I've been using throughout the year that has either made my life easier or that I've just genuinely enjoyed using. So just to put it out there, some of these have come out in 2021, some of them were from before, but all of them I've bought in 2021. And that's what I wanna share with you guys today. Before we get started, why don't you do me a little solid and just click that subscribe button. It helps me out a ton. It helps the channel out a ton. And just be that cool guy to hit that subscribe button. But without further ado, let's just jump into some of the tech and the gadgets that have been my favorite in the year of 2021. Okay, so first up is my phone. This is the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And if you didn't see already, I switched from the iPhone 13 Pro to the bigger iPhone 13 Pro Max, and I've been loving the bigger size ever since. The battery on this guy is literally next level. Like for example, a couple days ago, I just came back from a trip Two days, two and a half days out of town, I didn't even take a charger. It charged up 100% on the way there and no charger, no plugging in. I was using it quite a bit, actually pretty heavy on directions and I came back with like 5% left. So just the fact that I had battery left after two and a half days of using this heavy, that's pretty insane to me. Aside from that, the cameras on these guys, they're awesome. Sometimes I use them to film a little bit of filler clips for these YouTube videos and nobody would ever know. In fact, if you're somebody who wants to start a YouTube channel and you don't want to invest in like the big expensive cameras, an iPhone camera is more than good enough to get you started. That just goes to show you how good the cameras have gotten on these things. And one more thing that I love about this is the 120 Hertz ProMotion screen. Looking at a 60 Hertz screen after using this, it just feels so much slower. Like this honestly feels so fluid, so fast, and I just love the animations, and I just it's just a joy to use on the 120 hertz screen. Okay, so next up is my new 16 inch M1 Max MacBook Pro. If you haven't checked it out already, I did a couple videos on this, unboxing it, and how my impressions on it were after a week. I'll link those two videos in the description below, but to keep it short, I love this machine pretty much Every single thing about this, I'm really, really enjoying the design. It feels so industrial. It makes me want to get work done. It makes me want to be productive on it, create all those things. I mean, if you drop $4,300 on a laptop, it damn well better make you feel like that. No, but honestly, the things that are so clutch to me is that they brought the ports back and just the physical size of it. So as somebody who shoots a lot of videos and pictures, an SD card is something that I use pretty much every day. Having that SD card slot back makes my life so much easier because I don't have to use that stupid dongle. I don't have to worry about did I bring it or where I put it. I can just pop the SD card right in. And like I said, the 16 inch, I went for the bigger version. I'm coming from the 13 inch M1 MacBook Pro. So having that bigger screen gives me so much more real estate for like color grading, video editing, graphic design, all that stuff where you'd want the content to take full center stage. Plus, it also has that 120 hertz, just like the iPhone, so that makes it just that much more enjoyable. So, the 16 inch MacBook Pro, just got it recently, but definitely cemented as one of my favorite things of 2021. Probably gonna be one of my favorite things for a while to come now. All right, so next up on this list is something that I picked up at the end of the summer and I've been loving it ever since. And that's my Fujifilm X100V camera. So what made me pick up this camera was the fact that I had the Sony a7S III, which is what I'm filming on right now. It's a pretty big camera when you put a big lens on it. It's not an easy setup to just take around in public in busy environments. So having a little compact camera was something that I was looking for for a while. The little point and shoot nature of this camera is literally perfect. So for example, I took it to Dominican Republic with me when I went on vacation and I just put it on with this wrist strap. I took it pretty much everywhere, didn't miss a moment. It didn't get in the way. I got to take pictures pretty much all the time and they're very, very high quality pictures that come out of this. Plus using this camera is a vibe in itself with the retro style, it just, makes you feel like you wanna take pictures, it makes you wanna click the buttons and change the settings. And Fujifilm has some really, really nice film emulators, which you could just shoot regular JPEGs and the colors that you get out of this thing are really nice. And sometimes I don't even need to edit them at all. Now the next thing is probably one of the most useful items that I've gotten all year. 
and that I've probably got in a really, really long time. I can't tell you how much time it has saved me, how much hassle it saved me, and I'm talking about the AirTags. If you don't know already, the Apple AirTags are little trackers that you could put pretty much on anything. I got them on my keys, and they make finding your stuff that you lose so much easier, and it comes in so much more handy than you think. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought I was one of those people who didn't need to worry about losing their keys, but let me tell you, I was mistaken. I don't lose my keys, I just forget where I put them. I happens to the best of us. But with these, I can send an alert right to the keys. It'll make the air tag ring. I'll know where it is. And better yet, it gives me literal directions by the meter as to where they are. It's so useful and it's also pretty inexpensive. It honestly makes for a great gift if you wanna to give to somebody who's forgetful or if you wanna give yourself the gift of peace of mind. I really like how they sync directly to the Find My app on the iPhone so you don't have to worry about connecting them through Bluetooth or downloading additional apps. It just works. Honestly, the AirTags have been one of my favorite things that I've bought all year and they've saved me multiple times. Okay, so the next item on this list was a little bit of a toss up, but I chose the Sony XH1000 XM4s, the headphones. So I was debating between these and the AirPods Max and I chose these because I just use them more and I think they're easier to recommend than the AirPods. So I will say the build quality, the luxurious feel, the spatial audio, the sound quality, the noise cancellation on the AirPods Max, those are amazing, amazing headphones. But that case, man, that damn case. I feel like when I toss these in my bag with this case, I don't have to worry about it. I take these to the gym, I take them on road trips, I take them pretty much everywhere I go. And I just don't feel safe doing that with the AirPods Max with those case. I feel like the AirPods Maxes are just a little bit too fragile to throw around. They probably won't break, but that's just the feeling I get. I feel like these are much more easy to just throw around and they still are built pretty well. Now, the sound from these is still absolutely amazing. The bass is super punchy and the audio is crisp and clear. The noise cancellation is very, very good. Like I can literally put them on in a plane or like a busy room and I can tune out everything. So noise cancellation and the sound quality is very, very, very good. And you can sometimes find them on sales for pretty decent prices, especially for other headphones in this bracket. So I can wholeheartedly recommend them to pretty much anybody in the market looking for a pair of wireless headphones. I picked them up in the summer, I picked them up actually before I picked up the AirPods Maxes. I still like both headphones, but I've been using these quite a bit more just because I feel like I could be a little bit more confident in using them in multiple situations. All right, the last item on this list but certainly not the least of one of my favorite pieces of tech that I picked up in 2021 is the Sony 24 millimeter F 1.4 G Master lens. I started my YouTube channel back in January. I did not know anything about cameras. I did not know anything about lenses, but I knew that a YouTube channel is always something that I wanted to start off with. Picked up this as my first ever lens to put on the camera and I had this for pretty much six months without any other lens. It didn't have any zoom, but that was never an issue for me. I shot pictures with it. I shot talking heads like I'm shooting right now. I shot product B-roll, like pretty much everything. And since it's a 1.4 aperture, it's so good in low light. It's pretty much the one lens that did it all for me. So if you're in the market, for a lens and you don't wanna be spending those crazy prices that you would for, let's say something like the 24 to 70, which is like three grand plus. This lens is such a good starter lens. I literally vlog with it too. I can't say enough good things about it and it holds a little nostalgic value in my heart because it's what got me started in this YouTube channel. And overall, it's just an amazing lens. It's sharp, it's crisp. Can't say enough good things about this lens. All right, and that's gonna bring me to the end of this list. Like I said, some of these have come out in 2021, some of these haven't, but they're all things that I've picked up in 2021, and they're all things that I've really, really enjoyed using. If you found this video helpful, or if you enjoyed some of the items on this list, make sure you leave it a thumbs up, and make sure you click that subscribe button, because like I said, it really, really does help me out a lot. So do me a solid, and go do those things. I'll be back with another video real soon. Stuck till the end, special shout out to you. Thank you guys for watching so, so much. I'll see you in the next one.